have to do? I'm just typing in two addresses to try and find out how far away they are from each other. And like, it worked fine for the first time. And now I typed in a different address. And it was like, oh, this street to this street in Monroe. And I was like, no, not Monroe. Springfield to Springfield. And then it was like, okay, Springfield, Montana to Springfield, Oregon. And I was like, oh my gosh, why? And then I put Springfield, Oregon to Springfield, Oregon. And now it's like, oh, it's a five minute drive. Thank you. That's what I wanted to know. As you guys can see, the struggling of moving out is actually fucking horrendous. Especially if you live in Oregon. I mean, we have seven months until we're going to move out, and we're already freaking stressing about it. But today is going to be some Call of Duty. I got some guns gold, and we're going to be talking about moving out, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are either living on your own, living with your parents, living with a significant other, or something like that. So why not rant about it? You know you know the vibes, good vibes only. Alana, you want to say anything? She hates this stuff. Not really. She likes it. Don't hurt. Silence doesn't mean anything. I'm trying just to get to level 155 by the end of this double XP type of stuff, but we did get the carbine gold right here. The carbine is gold right here. I also got the Diggy Wiggy gold. So I think my next thing I'm going to try to get gold is the car 98. Basically what's happening right now is so Californians, people who live in California, are trying to move to Oregon thinking it's cheaper. But if you think about it, the more people who move to Oregon, the less houses are going to be. And the, how do you get more houses? Well, you make houses more expensive. So right now we're trying to find a good place that's affordable for us, for me and Elena, my girlfriend, and somewhere that's good so I can actually start streaming, I can start doing this more and better, because right now, obviously if you guys didn't know, I have horrible internet, and I download all my videos with my phone. I download it with my phone, because it has 20 gigabytes of 4G high speed hotspot every month and so I use that to download my videos but if you think about it if I actually have good enough internet in my new house I can actually freaking upload through my house and stream on Twitch because who wouldn't want to see your boy stream on Twitch I mean I know I would want to see that and I know you guys would want to see that and I know that my videos would be longer and even better because I don't have to worry about that stuff but no instead Californian people are like yo we're gonna buy all the houses and you're gonna get fucked and I'm like oh okay but not to mention the whole, you know, obviously, Domination. once you get the house, basically what's going on. So, Elena's lease doesn't actually get over objective. until August, the end of August. So, we have to figure out a place that we can get in August, which obviously right now is January. So, we have a few months until then.
and we have to figure out all that stuff just so we can possibly get a house because you know you know deposits to say um, you have to get background checks and that usually costs money application fees cost like 45 dollars because i don't know why it costs money to apply to a house i mean it kind of makes sense because they don't want to make they want to make sure that you're actually serious about it and if you're not serious about it they want they don't want you Die. I don't have, I don't have a deep. Yeah, trying to move out, it's kind of a pain. Right now we have four or five houses we're going to be looking at. I think either today or tomorrow. So we have we have a few houses we're going to be looking at, which is good because obviously we want to you know, find a secure house before August because we don't want a major thing about, you know, oh no, we can't find a place. We can't find a place. And we're stuck. So I guess what I'm saying is just make sure you guys, you know, find a secure place as well as, you know, make sure you guys are budgeting well, make sure you guys have the money to do it, as well as make sure you actually find a place where, you know, you don't get shanked or absolutely mobbed because we found one and all the reviews was about Helen who had such bad management and couldn't figure her shit out and people got like shanked, broke into, like somebody fucking door was broken and they couldn't fix it for like three months so they're like oh hi welcome to my door just fucking come inside my house like i guess that shit happened and so i don't know it's kind of terrifying but it's like kind of fun talking like it's pretty fun to figure out a house that you might possibly be living in for years to come with somebody you enjoy living with and like love and stuff so all in all it's kind of fun to try to look for a house but also it's kind of stressful because you don't want to find a place that you hate especially if you sign leases Leases are a thing too. You can get like a six month lease, one year lease, two years. Fucking you hold, sell the sword to the devil. I don't even know. All that shit's also a thing that you have to figure out. Just... And that's my take on moving out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, morning, and night. And I'll see you guys next time.